Mm. Hello. Good morning. Is the volume working? Yeah, here we go. Nice to have your company. Come on in. Way, nearly. I had loads of time and then all of a sudden I had no time. There you go. All ready to go. Good morning, Mandy. Nice to have your company. Come on in, we're on to something new today. We've had enough of the garden. It's raining now. We have to come in from the garden, don't we? So we'll wave goodbye to our blue tits for a while and our postcards. And we won't be back there for a couple of weeks now. So if you haven't got them yet, then go on to our website and pick them up and then you can join in with us in a couple of weeks time. It's not expensive. Well, you needed some colouring pencils and a couple of postcards and then off we go again. And the other thing is, of course, that all the, um, all the postcards that we've already coloured in and all the tricks and tips that we've gone through, they're all recorded, aren't they? Either on Clarity Worldwide or on YouTube. So consider that. Consider that. And if not for yourself, maybe for somebody else. Right, now let's have a look. Early to go. Ah, oh, morning, Anne. Trust, I'm fine. Have you got the downloads? Yes, Anne's got hers. Are you ready to go? Right, so this is important today that we, I talked about it yesterday. I hope that you, you were around. Um, it was about getting the downloads. So um, there are, there are these downloads for you. Okay, so you've got that one. I oh, know, trippy. That one. And then two lots of bauble shapes. Okay? So have you got them? Because you need them to move forward today. They're brilliant to have. I hadn't realised just how brilliant until I really started getting my teeth into them. Um, but it's all right. I'll waffle for five minutes while you go and get the download. And Stuart, Stuart, love, you're in the building, I hope. Then you could possibly help our friends. Um, find them if they haven't got them. That'd be brilliant. And what else? Yeah, because Stuart said yesterday, some of you had mentioned that he didn't have a printer. He's happy to put them in the post to you as well, aren't you, love? Which is very good of him. So if that's the case, right, and you haven't got a printer, then um, all you need to do, don't put your address on Facebook Live. Not so good. Send them to, email them to Stuart privately. Um, and then he'll get the he'll get the download sent to you. No problem, free of charge. It's a prezi, but you need them to be able to keep going with us. And this is such a we're going to be here for because it's already Wednesday, isn't it? So we're going to stay in this zone, right? Which is going to be um, stars, snowflakes, and baubles. And I thought. There's so much to consider there that we could stay the rest of this week and the whole of next week just doing doodling because that's what this was all about, wasn't it? And you just need, seriously, a pencil and these and a piece of paper. So I hope that you've got them. Hands up who's got their downloads. Hands up who hasn't. If you haven't, talk to Stuart and he'll either get them to you now so you can print them out quickly or he'll get them to you for tomorrow so that you can join in manana. Okay, we're not going anywhere. We're going to be here for a few days. So um, it's worth it. Do you know, it's funny because um, do, do I look lopsided today or is it? I don't know what's happened. I came in this morning and this camera that I'm looking at is at an angle like that. So I had to prop the leg up. <laughs> I, had to, I didn't know, I didn't want to fiddle with that bit, Jim, if you're listening. So at the moment, the camera's like that, Jim, <laughs> because I put the leg up to compensate, to make it straight. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> You'll know what to do, Jim. Maybe you could pop over and just straighten this out. Maybe we got burgled. Maybe the bloke came in and wanted and then, and then thought, nah, it's only a Panasonic. I'll leave it. It's not worth the aggro. 
<laughs> or maybe he couldn't get it off. <laughs> yeah, maybe that's what it was. Perhaps we got burgled. Perhaps somebody broke in and wanted to take the camera and then gave up because they could hear me skipping up the stairs. Who knows? But either way, it's all jiggly. So Dave, uh, Jim, maybe you could help me out. How is everyone? Come on in. I've been absent. Dawn, you've been absent for uh, too long. La, 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 but I've decided to get back in the game. I'm so glad to hear it. Um, so come on then, grab a seat. It's not very nice, it's raining here. What about where you are? Hmm? Raining? I've got to go to the dentist after this. Not, not my favourite thing to do. But never mind. Better to do it now while I can than not do anything and then not be able to go. Huh? Oh no. Good morning everyone and a special hi to our Barb. Hello Beryl. So there we go, the download link again. Stuart's kindly added that to our list and it's 10 past one. No, it's one minute past 10. <laughs> It's the dentist in me head. Right, you ready? Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the Shack Shack. Safe, happy and creative. Stay home and craft. And, uh, and today we're moving on and we're going to be working with our templates and we're going to be learning. I thought we'd start with the stars. Let's start with the stars because I thought it would be a good idea to, to just understand how this works how the how these um how these grids work i mean it's a bit trippy but it works so brilliantly and see the idea is let me just show you here and i don't i'm going to deliberately not rush because i know that there will be several of you um trying to get these printed but i want to show you you see if you take a star Let's have a look at this one. It, a star, you'll see, it's got six points. Do you see? So today, and, the, and a hexagon, this is a hexagon, it's got six points. And there's loads and loads and loads and loads of sizes. So you can make a ridiculous number of, of different stars. Now the reason I went for hexagon is because also originally I wanted to show I wanted to go to snowflakes and snowflakes have got six points see so so you can see here as long as you've got the middle see I tried I started but I didn't have this and I'm kid you not it was it was impossible I was in a hide into nowhere trying to get six points um, equidistant was just not easy and so I came up with the idea of having this hexagon and also for the for the groovy fans um, we haven't got a hexagon plate so I said to Jim well let's kill two birds with one stone let's get a hexagon plate going at the same time so the original idea was to do snowflakes you see six points and then I thought, right, that's going to be a brilliant solution. But I also thought, okay, it's great for stars. We love stars, you know. And, and so, and here's the thing, see, depending on, you can make a, a symmetrical star like that. You can make that any size you like. You can make these as long as you like. You just decide where you want to go. Do you see, it's so easy when you get it going. Now, let's take one of these stars, for example, right? Look, so then you go much taller on the top and the bottom, but then shorter on the side, but it all roads lead to the middle. I mean, it's so cool to do. And over the course of the next few days, right? What I want to do, let me show you this for example. If I, if I take the baubles now, let me find my baubles. Where have I hidden them? Stay there. Oh, they're underneath here. Silly. 
Okay, let me show you the bauble. If I take this bauble here, look, it sits in there beautifully. Or, where's another one? There, look. You see? And so, and you know those old fashioned baubles? Check this one out. See there, look. Look, that looks just like my Oma's. My Oma, my German grandmother. She had loads of these. So you kind of got to think about dimension. This bit here used to be sunk in. It used to be really shiny inside. And it, it was a hole in the bauble, if you know what I mean. It, it recess. And so, look, you get what I mean. We could, we're going to have such a fantastic time. And I was thinking we could put snowflakes in here and just generally have, this is why we need all these templates. Because that's another thing. These aren't that easy to draw symmetrically unless you've got a template of some description. So I thought today, I thought today what would be a really smart move would be to get to grips with this so you understand how it works, you know. And, and I, my job is just to give you some ideas, yeah. And, and then every day we'll add another little trick and another little tip and, you know, but you, once you've got this download, then you'll be able to go off on your own tangent and have a play. Because all you need really is this, you, right, you do, to be honest, I've been going on about the tracing paper for, for weeks now and you do need tracing paper because otherwise you can see it through the copy paper but it's easier with tracing paper and if you know tracing paper is key right so get some tracing paper um, and then what we'll do is because we learned this remember with the toadstools the transfer trick it's really easy so and I worked out I'll, I'll show you let's get started but it's it's really great and what we're doing here if you like what we're doing here is we're making um, templates right we're making our templates and that means that once we've got it on here on the tracing paper we can use it again and again and again so we could take a piece of tracing paper and say we want this particular shape this particular shape so I've done a larger one you could do all different sizes you could put them all over the place um, but once you've got that you see you you've got that then to transfer as well this is like making your own transfer sheet because the shapes are very difficult to draw freehand but very easy if you've got a grid all right everybody happy everybody cool I quite like it when it's raining and unpleasant outside and we're all in here do you right so let's let's get started I, the reason I'm kind of procrastinating a bit is because I'm trying to give you time to get your tracing paper and your um, your download and if you haven't right this is the this is the thing don't don't get uptight don't this is not the object of the exercise in the shack shack if you haven't got your tracing paper and you haven't got a download because you haven't got a printer or don't don't get anxious just say all right I'll tell you what I'm going to do I'm going to go and put the kettle on because I bet you got one of them go and get the kettle on make yourself a cup of tea right and then just watch and enjoy okay and you don't have to join in today then and get the bits ready so that then tomorrow you can you can join in you know but don't get anxious today because the printer's jammed or my printer jammed this morning and I was having a bit of a conniption but that's because I'm the bus driver <laughs> that's like not being out of that's like the bus is ready to leave at 10 o'clock and you can't find the keys <laughs> Okay, but don't, don't get anxious. It's not worth it. It's a doodle. And it's not going anywhere. Right, so let's get a bit of copy. Let's get a bit of uh, tracing paper. Tracing paper. Right, let's get a fresh bit. And then I'll show you how it works. And you need a ruler. A ruler. Anything that will draw a straight line. OK. 
Okay, and pencils. HB pencil will do the job. If you've got those, those, um, these ones, all the different thicknesses, the buffer black, you know, the softer, the softer graphite. If you've got them, then you know it'll be easier for transfer, but don't worry, I tried it with an HB and it works like a treat. The only thing is with an HB, you've got to press a little bit harder and it makes a bit of an indent, but it's all right. It's all good. Oh, I've got something in my eye. Right. Okay, are you ready to rock and roll? So what we're gonna do, there you go. If you haven't got the download, let it go. Let it go and we'll deal with it tomorrow. We'll have it by manana, okay? And if all else fails, just ask Stuart and he'll put it in the post to you and you'll get four lovely white copies, okay? With love from Clarity. Now, uh, I'm gonna start over here, only because I'm a lefty, because I'm gonna do different ones. So I'm gonna use this line here as, as, a, as a straight line. And what we decided to do was make the hexagon pointed rather than flat normally on, let's say when we do a groovy plate, it's gonna look like that because it's square, isn't it? Groovy plate square. But I said to Lucy, it would be better if it was pointed at the top because we tend to draw stars with the point to the top rather than, and then you, you, you watch, I, straight away, I kept turning, I kept having to turn the, um, the template and I thought, oh, on the third turn, I thought, hang on, there's a solution here. Because <laughs> this is what I had to start with and I was, doing that all the time and I thought well hang on a minute why don't we just print it like that okay you ready easy job and today we're, we're just starting slowly slowly does it we're not gonna we're not gonna have any amazing artwork today because one we're waiting for our friends to catch up with us because we know there's a few that haven't got the gear and secondly right we want to get used to what the template can do for us. Now, let's have a look. If we look here, you can see why we've got a hexagon now. Six points. So what we'll do is, you can pick any one you like. It doesn't have to be the same one as I've picked, right? Let me just work out which one I did use, though. Right, it's that one there. Right, that one there, isn't it? So, let me just count from the middle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. About nine, nine out, okay? Let's go for it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Right, I'll make a little dot there. And then I'm gonna check that I've done it right. That'll do. Is that right? I'm going up one more. 10, that one. Right, it's a good start, Gray. <laughs> God, it's a good job it's only a, a mock-up, isn't it? So I'm gonna go one, and then I'm gonna, I'm not gonna draw it, I'm just gonna, with my eye, because it is quite trippy, this. Another dot, come down, another dot, come down again, another dot, up we go, to there, and then up to there. See? So you've got the six dots. When you lift this off, you can see them. Does that make sense? Let's see if we can go in a bit closer, shall we? I'll tell you what I want to do as well. I just want to check that the batteries are right. I got so caught up in the angle of the camera. Yeah, I think we can get away with this. Okay, it's like an assault course in it. Right, let me just change the, see if this works without jugging it too much. There, now you can see what I'm doing, can't you? How's that? Okay. Right, so we've got the six points. Now, what we want to do is come in a little bit. So let me just, you, let me use what I, I've already done as my guide, you see? So what I've done is I've come in from the top, I've come in four lines. So in the middle, let's say I get to the middle here, this is the line. 
Once you get used to this, you'll understand. Then you go to the middle between the two dots. I don't have to measure it. I can eyeball that. Yeah? So I'm going to measure it like that. And then I'm going to go, right, one, three, four. And then I'm going to make a dot there. Oh, don't press too hard. Dot. Right? So then that's going to be like that. So I've made... Have a look. See? So if I want to make these a little bit more angular, I'm going to come in one more. <laughs> it's all right. We're, we're warming up. So you're going to go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So it's the fifth one, if you like, from that line. If that's one, the one that you're on, two, three, four, five. Then you stay on that one, and don't, you don't have to keep counting. You don't have to count the first one. Thank goodness, right? So you're going to go along there, keep going along the hexagon line, and every time you get to the middle of the line, make a dot. See, it's easy. It's only the first one that's a nuisance. See, and then you just keep your pencil on it, but don't actually do it. Do you see what I mean? So you've got your dots in place. Yeah? And you're going to make... I, the reason I keep doing the overlay, apart from checking my own work, is to so that you can see what we're actually doing here. otherwise you're just going to end up with a load of lines and dots and um, <laughs> aren't you see so but the thing is that you can decide how pointed you want your your um, star to be or how flat it's entirely up to you how how pointed you want your points on the star to be you could make them more pointed by coming in a bit further, couldn't you? Really nice. Really nice. See, if I wanted to make it a bit more pointy, I'd just come down to the next line and bring it in a bit tighter. Okay. So there's not a right or a wrong here. And, and once you've got your lines in place, it's easy. Let's take this off here for a minute because it's getting a bit trippy. And let's just look at the dots. Can you see the dots? Yeah? So these dots are the stars, like that. Right, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna take the, I'm gonna take the plunge here and just draw the lines in. Now, if you wanna use a ruler, use a ruler. If you wanted to go freehand, go freehand. But let's, let's get the lines in. I'm going freehand. I'm going to go freehand. Right, so this is it here. See? Start here. That one's that. So this is the, the top one. Then comes the next one. So you can always use a ruler. And then you just join up the dots. It's entirely up to you whether you use a ruler or you go freehand. It, sometimes, well, I'm, I'm sure that most of you will grab a ruler, but sometimes you want a hand-drawn look. You don't want a, you know? Some of you may have a little tremble or, you know, not feel confident enough to do straight lines. That's all right. I'm definitely going to use a ruler in a minute, though. See, the only reason I'm, I can do it freehand is because it's it's not it's only little areas. One of the things that I learned about drawing in a straight line, it's like uh, riding a motorbike. You don't look at you don't look at the pencil, the top the tip of the pen or the pencil. You look at the road ahead. It's the same on a motorbike. You don't look at the wheel, you look at the road ahead and that keeps you straight. And it works every time. If you just try it, take a piece of paper and if you look at the pencil, if you're looking at the nib, look, make two dots like that and then look at the nib. Oh, I'm not bad at it, but you'll find if you look at the dot here as you're driving towards it, you go in a straight line, it's like, boof. Try it out. 
Right, so we've got our we've got our star like that, right? Now we've got choices. We could put one in the middle or we can close it up. Let's do this, let's close this one up so that we see we can always do a little tiny one next door to it. Let's do that. Come on. So now what we're going to do is join the points. So we'll go to the large points first. Let's go to the outer points. And you'll see, when, you, when we start adding shade to this, it's going to be so cool. Let me just get my head over, because I need to make sure, I need to make sure that I'm in the middle. See, what lark glasses have I got on here? Do you know, dentist today, opticians tomorrow. This is getting beyond a joke. Oh, that's better. See, so I need to get my, my center like so. So it needs to be meeting in the middle, don't we? That's where I'm... That's it. So when you do this, you've got a little bit of leverage, you know. You can go, look, see what I'm doing with the pencil? You can kind of go, <laughs> it's not discernible, but it, it makes it, at least it means, see those two are definitely right. This is all right, this one. But if it was a little bit of a gap, then what you do is you go, you just move around a little bit. and You know what I mean. Look, isn't that lovely? Look. Now how else are you going to draw that? I bet you've all got some clever template book, haven't you? Well, I got to 61 years of old and I did not have, I, I did not have a template book. 61 years of old. <laughs> is, that, is that an expression? 61 years of old and I didn't have a template book. And, and I've always struggled doing stars. I've always ended up doing eight point stars because they're easier. <laughs> it's easier to do eight, isn't it, than six. And now finally, breakthrough, it's a six point star. So let's do a little tiny one now, right? When you get into it, you'll understand. Let's do a little tiny one. Everybody all right? Are you enjoying this? Let me see what you're saying. Now, maybe I don't want to see what you're saying, eh? Let's have a look. <laughs> do I want to know what you're saying? Bernie, thanks for the download. Oh yeah, that's good. You're using your light wave. Yes, Jackie, you can use your light wave. I just felt, I, I didn't want to mention it because I feel that I'm, it sounds like I'm selling a light wave. And I'm not, I'm, you know. But of course, if you've got a light wave, Bob's your uncle, Fanny's. Bob's your ankle, <laughs> Fanny's your aunt. Yeah, light wave's great, but I d sometimes I feel aware that there are people who are joining us who don't have a light wave and they've only got a piece of paper and a pencil, a bit of tracing paper or even baking parchment, anything you can see through, you know. Just use what you've got, use what you've got, people. And if you've got a light wave, use that. <laughs> now, let's have a look. We want to do that little one next. See the one here? So I put it inside this one. But now I want to, where's my, yes. And now I'm going to have to print out a few of these because I can see during the course of the week I'm going to lose, lose it. Now let's have a look. Let's just, let me just do a count for you so you can see what I'm on. So it's, there's the center. Is that one there? Yeah. So it's one, two, three, four, four out and then two in. That makes good sense. This is going to be nice. So let me do a little one. I'm going to do a little one th there, there. Four out and two in. One, two, three, four. Is it a rinky dink one? One. Now you go along, travel, make your points so you know. See, once you've got the first one, it's easy. And then we're going to travel in two. One, one, two. That's it. So we're on that one there. You see this all right? The best bit of this is that you can make these any size you want. So now I'm going to just leave it like this so I can see what I'm doing. Like, 
This is a piece of cake, this one. So we go like that, go like that. You can always make the artwork, turn it, make it come to you if it's easier. Good enough. Hey, 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 hey. Right, and then I'm going to get my ruler out again. So now we've got a little one. And I'll tell you what I'm going to do as well, only because I'm going to write F, F for front. Because in a minute we're going to be flipping backwards and forwards, transferring. Because at the moment this is our template, you see. But say we wanted to do, say we wanted to make a Christmas card, yeah? Say we wanted to make a Christmas card, or we wanted to do a watercolour with, with baubles. See, what I see in my head, and I'd love to do this, is like really random splotches of, of watercolour, right? And then long hanging pieces, and then baubles or stars like this, or snowflakes, whichever one we decide to go with in the end, right? Hanging at different heights, so you've got all, you could have the 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 colour flicks or splotches coming up from underneath or from on top and then you've got these snowflakes or baubles hanging down but you have to you have to transfer them from the tracing paper to the card or to the um the watercolour painting that you're gonna do, right? Or the, even the little tiny little tiny piece of watercolour that you're gonna mount on a card, you see what I mean? And um, and so you wanna know what the front is and then you'll, you'll know when you transfer it because they're symmetrical. Everything we're gonna, we're gonna do is pretty much symmetrical. And so it, it'll be quite difficult to know what's the front and what's the back, you know? So you can smear it, I guess, but it's good, it's a good, Good I did. I, I, got, I went wrong. How does she know these things? Because she went wrong. So let's have a look at this one. I'll take that away. And we're just going to join up these ones again. I'm using the ruler though on this little one. Right. Right, here we go. Take your time. See, it's a real... It's a real mindful process, isn't it? But what, what is brilliant, right, apart from it being a piece of cake, once you figure out how to use the, how to use the templates, I'll show you how to use the round one as well. That's cool as well. Right, there you go. Um, yeah, once you, once you figure out how these lines work, it's brilliant, you know. I was so excited. Yesterday, when I was, when I was preparing, I was, I wanted to come on Facebook Live and go, come on, quick, let me show you, let's get started. So I've always wanted to do this, and I've never known how to. That's the bottom line. So now we've done those two, we've done a large one and a small one. You understand as well, of course, if I had two of them, let's just, let's say I've got that one, right? Then if I wanted to, I could add the next one to it, couldn't I? So let me just explain. Say this one is there like so, but I wanted to do one that's got eight, you know? then I could turn this round like this and I'll join it up and the, the, gr the grid will tell me exactly where to go. You see? The, this tells me exactly where to go. And also, if, you, if it's not lining up perfectly for you, then this is where this one comes in handy. So this one comes in really useful too, see? Because that sits on there like a treat, you know? So then what you do is, you take your second one, so you've got a double, you've got, you need, uh, the easiest way for me to do it is to do, put one in place like so, 
let's say. Mm -hmm. So I've got that one in place. And then I've got the other one, but I want them on the same sheet. So then I move this one. Now you get where I'm coming from. So then I move this one. See how easy this is now? So I'm just lining it up with the points on my, on my wheel, if you like, like so. And then I can go. Do you get it? So, so that's why, I mean, how else are you going to put the second one on there perfectly and know that it's an exact, you can eyeball it, I suppose, can't you? But this is going to give you the, the exactness. There's other things that you can do with this as well, like really brilliant stuff. But let's just stick to the star for now. I want to show you this one now, because this is really nice. I like this. This reminds me of my omas, my German grandmothers, because of this. That was so exactly what it used to, you know, they would be indented. So we can do that with shadow, can't we? So let's see how we can get that out of this. It's really easy. I think it is anyway. I did it, I did it earlier, like really straightforward. So let me take this edge now as my guide, because this is only going to be my template, right? Are we cool with this? Right, that'll do. And then what I want to show you is this. We go back to the centre, and you can see that I... Let's count so we know. I think it was ten, but I'll count again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So I'm going to write sixteen up there. Right, so it's sixteen up there. And then this one, this one here, let's get the, let's just get them in place, shall we? So the shorter ones are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Right, so the shorter ones are nine. And the recess, the the pull, the in pull, the in, in track is one, two, three, four. Let's have a look. Hang on. Let's get it right. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so I've got my numbers in place. Now let's have a look. So we're going to go top and bottom 16. See, th I'll tell you how I did it. I did it with my ruler and I went to the center and worked my way out like that. But to be fair, come on, counting is not that hard. Ready? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 16. What glass have I got on? I'm going to go again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Then we go the other way. Sixteen. Sixteen. Okay. Right, and then we're going to go to the other points. These ones. And this, this one, this one, this one, and this one. Because they are going to be the short... Hey, hello. The shorter ones. You see? So these ones are going to be the ones that go to nine. Okay? On the actual points. So this is this one here. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now, once I've got this one, I can just slide down. I don't have to count it again. Then I'll go this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then we'll bring it down. Second one. So, and you can eyeball it. You'll see if it's right. Yeah? You can always check it with a ruler if you prefer as well. And then we're going halfway along this line here, this one here, but this is going to be five, right? So as you come along here, go right one, two, three, four, five, halfway in there. So that one's five, then it goes like that. So then you're going to have five there, so it goes out, out, out. And then five here again, then it goes like that. So it's five all the way around, you see? So it goes, so this one is five all the way around on the inside. Does that make sense? It makes total sense to me. <laughs> <laughs> Whew. 
Right. You all right? It's when you're on your own, not while you're trying to catch up with me or keep up with me, but when you're on your own with this download and a bit of tracing paper and you start working out how to make different shapes of stars, you'll love it. And then when we move on to snowflakes, you'll see why we've got all these lines. Because it's a little bit trippy, isn't it? And you think, well, why didn't... But if we just had the, the dots, it would be worse. At least this way, you can follow the lines round. There is a method in my madness, right? Okay, stretching, neck, oh, neck, neck. Okay. Um, it's not a test. It's a trick. It's a technique. It's not even a skill in, in a way, is it? It's just figuring something out, you know, figuring out how to use. I mean, listen, this could be a slide rule. Do you remember them at school? Oh, I never had a clue. I just used to sit there, pretend I knew what I was doing. And then I'd go home and ask my dad. <laughs> how I got O-level maths, I will never know. Right, now. Let's do the next thing. I'm going to actually, I'm going to keep the template in place for this one because I want to use my ruler and I want to make sure that I go, I go right. So I'm going to, I'm always coming into the, the, the one nearest the centre. There you are. So just hold that like so. But I'm actually going to go round because it's, so that it's logical. Yeah, that's it. I'm actually going to go round so that I can follow my path rather than speedy Gonzales and then join up the wrong dots. <laughs> See? Hang on, let me move that out of the way. Okay. I think this will work. Yeah, see, just what you, I suppose what we've got to do is just look at what we're doing before you commit, isn't it? That's that's pretty straightforward, really. Just check what you're doing before you draw the line in. You think, yeah, that that makes sense. Yeah, get the ruler in the right place. Hmm. I think this is actually, I, I, I hope you're enjoying this as much as I am. So once we've got the shapes, so then wait till we start the shading and the doodling. Oh my, that's going to be so cool. No, it's nice, isn't it? It's nice. And what's going to be brilliant is all over Clarity Worldwide, there are going to be the most amazing stars and baubles. And that's such a, going to be such a treat. And then let me move that over there like so. I tend to use the back of this one so I know where it is. Look, you can see where I've counted. <laughs> <It's silly. laughs> I've gone one, two. I've actually gone and put little pencil marks. Okay. And now I'm going to come to this camera because I want to come right over the top with my pencil. And I'm just using an HB. It will do the job. Because I just want to show you how it works. And then, see, if I want to transfer, I could transfer an HB. HB will transfer for me. Um, but I might go over it with one of my, like, when I go to transfer it onto watercolour paper or something like that, I might go to one of my softer, you know, like the, f the buffer black. Softer pencil, blacker pencil. So 5B, 6B, blacker, 7B, blacker, 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 blacker. Yeah. 
Um, but if you haven't got those pencils, I reckon an HP does the job. It does. You might have to go over it again, that's all. Let's have a look. Am I going through the middle? Bingo. Yes, she is. And when we colour the, you know, this is going to look so good. When we, when we do um, core, so you could do grayscale, like just shading, and then glitter. Oh, that would look beautiful. Have I missed one? Yeah, that one there. Mm -hmm. And, um, look. <laughs> Well, I know I'm easily impressed, but I'm easily impressed. Okay, how are you doing? Hmm? It's good, isn't it? And the the different permutations are endless. You can you can layer them up. You can turn them round. You can make them six star. You can make them eight point stars. You can you can make flowers. It's really quite impressive. See, and when you've got this, just let me show you. If I, if I take this one, see, I did that with a slightly harder pencil. You can see, can't you? That I, I think I did. I put a f -f front on there as well, but you can see that I definitely used a harder pencil there, right? So let me show you, for example. I'm not saying you've got to do it. I just want to show you the point in case you missed the, this game last time. If I take a watercolour paper, let me take a bit of watercolour paper. Right, so the, here are our watercolour pads, right? Da da. Right, let me just you, you, let's pretend that we want to just. I've got this is my experiment in one where I put all my bits. What I'm doing, I'm just trying to find a piece of clean. I already started. See, I practiced make sure it worked <laughs> oh yeah right so now for example if that's the front then when I turn it over you see that one there I've already done it once so I'll do it again then I could take let me just tape it into place I just want to give you the completion so you understand the whole purpose of what we're doing on the tracing paper I think sometimes if you see it obviously then you it makes more sense if, if you have it explained to you why you're doing something why you're using a softer pencil for example is now if I I could take my ruler if I want if I want it to be really exact, okay, and I can use my HB now to transfer the soft, or I can take a soft pencil, or I can take a hard pencil, whatever I fancy, right? And then let me just check that it's working. There, do you see? So it's literally a transfer game, and you just take your, you take your your ruler will give you a perfect line, obviously, for your artwork. And you may not even have to redraw it. it. Depends what you want to do with it. If you want to ink it, of course you do. But you can see when I lift this off, look, it's so perfect. And then, and then the other thing is, once I've done this now, I've done it on this side. Let me show you. So now I'm going to I'm going to complete it only because otherwise my 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 technique won't work. So I'm going to just transfer the the pencil work now. I've taped it into place so it's not going to move while I'm playing. Okay. Are we lucky that we've got all this time to do this stuff, you know? There's that one there's just missing. We really are lucky. Got to turn it round, you know. T 
turn around the bad bits and turn them into good bits. There's one missing there as well. So I'm transferring my hand-drawn star now to a watercolour pad. Look, beautiful. And then if I want to do, now I've got my outside edge, if I want to, if I want to transfer that I can as well, of course, or I can just, now I've got me out, the outer shape's the one, isn't it? That's the one that's going to be the, the issue, not the inside bit, I can do that now. And then what I would do, me personally, right, I'll rub out that F there and I'll put the F on that side. And now I know that this is the front. So in other words, the pencil's on this side now. So when I go to do it again, I'll do this side. See? So I'm, I can go backwards and forwards and backwards and forwards and I can use this template until it disintegrates. I'm, I'd be interested to know how many times I could use this. I'm, I can't imagine that it would wear out, do you? So, so once you've got your templates, that's what I'm saying, once you've got your sheets of different stars and different permutations and different designs, yeah, um, then you can, you just do front, 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 mm -hmm. and then you've got to put a box together or a folder, I'd put them in a box, and then you've got them, you've always got them ready to go, <laughs> it's good isn't it? And you can put them on any surface then, see? So once I've done this, see I don't need to transfer the outside bit, I can go in now and I can use my, I can use my pencil on the watercolour, see, and then I can just repeat what I did, can't I? Because the, it will sit perfectly now, in here, and that's up to me now whether I choose to transfer Transfer or draw. But these are pretty cool. I think so anyway. And then this one here, this type of star, I mean, you could, you could, you know that it would look really good with little ones in the back as well, don't you? But there you go. I just wanted to explain how to transfer. Yeah. There you go. So now, let me just show you, what's the time? Oh, I tend to. One more thing, and then I'm going to have to love you and leave you, because I have to go into Tunbridge Wells to, the, to my friend the dentist. <laughs> right, so that's the stars. Now, what was I going to show you? Yeah, I think that was that. So I think we'll, we'll carry on with that tomorrow then. And then the other thing I wanted to show you, hold on a second. Tomorrow we're going to do snowflakes. Oh, they're going to be beautiful. Yeah, this is what I wanted to show you. Let me get this one out. Now, where was that? I did do something really cool. Just stay there a minute. Right, let's just have a look. I've got the snowflakes. I've got the snowflakes. I've got that thing. I've done that. Here it is. Yes. On an aside. On an aside. This is pretty cool. You know... Something very different, but really nice as well. Let me show you, let me show you these bits. Right, so this is pretty cool. Straight away you think grunge, cogs. <gasps> so you could make some amazing mixed media wheels, couldn't you? Yeah. Also, this one, stars, suns, like proper, you know, like um, horoscope, Aquarius. This is what I see here. And how did I get to these? Well, this is really easy. It's this one. This one. So if you go to this one here, right? And it doesn't matter which one you take. I don't know. As far as I can understand it, in my head, it will always marry up. So if I take this there, let me just pick a random, let me just sharpen my pencil, my HB. <laughs> Look at the length of this. I'm going to have to treat myself here. Right, there you go. I don't like an HB. 
See, so then here, for example, I could go into any one I like. Let's make a little cog here, just there. I can make a little cog. Let's see if this works, my theory. So I can go like that, like that, and I'm just going round, like so. Yeah. I reckon. And if I didn't want to come, see how I'm coming all the way to this line here, like that. If I didn't want to come all the way out there, then I can always just do half. Look, that I can manage. You see? So you just come out half away, but now I'm going back up to the top because I want it to join up. And it joins. You see? So I just wanted to show you that. Look, see, you can do it like that or you can do half. It's entirely up to you. So you've got cogs, you've got wheels on here. You've got the, the idea that I was showing you earlier when I showed you um, about doing that and then turning it and turning it and turning it. Now this one, this is easy. So what I did there was, and you can see exactly when you look, if you, let's take the smallest one, that, let's take this one here, just to make it different to the one I've just done there. And then let's go to here, two in, two, just two up, right? And then what we're gonna do is gonna go like so, but we're gonna miss one, you see? So every other one, I'm gonna make a dot because that will be my guide. And that way, I know that that's where I'm gonna point to. Hang on. That's it. So as I go round, I'll go up to that point and then back down again. And then I'll go up to that point and back down again. And it looks really busy, because it is, because it's tiny. Let me just, I wonder if this will work. This is a tiny one, right? But I'm gonna go, so the point that I've made on that line, it's gonna be really easy for me to, look, if you feel better, it, see, I find it easier to zigzag, but each to his own. So then you go, I'm trying to stay overhead so you can see what I'm doing. Just make sure that it hasn't moved while I've been working. This is going to be like a, oh, it's a little bit more like a flower. Cool, you know what, you can make a daisy. See, that one went a bit wrong there because it it's not pointed enough for a sun. That's why you want to do. Be nice though. Let's have a look. There we go. How else would you do this? I can't even begin to think how. Could have done with this when we were doing the dream catcher, couldn't we? Let's have a look. Boom. Look. <laughs> I can see some beauties coming out here. I can see all you cr your creative minds going into overdrive now. Isn't that great? Templates a go-go. And then the other, I just wanted to show you because I was, let's have a look at the, Shall I just show you a couple of snowflakes and then I'm going to love you and leave you. Look, see? A feathery ice crystal. I love that expression. A feathery ice crystal. And so tomorrow, what we're going to do is figure out how to use... And you can see, see the lines here? That's where those... Um, that's when these lines come into their own because they, they give you the, the width that you need to do this. And that's what we're going to do tomorrow. So we're getting to grips now with the, we've done the stars. We'll do a little bit more of that 
and then we'll do this some snowflakes and then we're, we're going to have to make a few different sizes because I've got an idea for the baubles uh, to get that that illusion of uh, depth you know of dimension but it's okay we're going to be doing this all this week we're going to get this going and then next week we're going to do all different baubles we're going to use this and then we're going to use different different pattern ideas just to create loads of different baubles we'll do some writing in the baubles let's just have a bauble ball hey be fun Stuart, thank you very much for your help. And uh, and anybody, like I say, that hasn't got the downloads and wants them and hasn't got a printer, no problem, no problema. Just ask Stuart and he will give him your address. Not not publicly though, privately. And then um, and then we'll get your your downloads sent to you. Uh, so thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope that it's not too trippy for you. You may want to just refocus now <laughs> look out the garden and have a cup of tea i'm going to shoot off have a good day stay safe and i'll see you tomorrow at 10 o'clock bye bye now mm -mm -mm.